Let's take it straight to the first stick on the index. 50 points higher on the Nifty, a good start there. The Sensex is up about 100 odd points. The mid-cap index is open to a strong showing as well, 250 points higher. The Bank Nifty for now is refusing to participate, but let's see early moments yet of the day. Uh, the advanced decline ratio has almost 2,000 stocks on the advancing side. Uh, so, it's looking like a decent screen at the moment. What's leading from the front is some of these power stocks. NTPC is up about 1%. Then you have LTI, Mindtree, Aisha Motors, Adani Ports, Hindalco, ONGC, HCL Tech. That are your big gainers. Um, by big, I mean like about half a percent to 1% gain at the max. Bank Nifty is the one that's dragging its feet a bit. ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, um, SBI. Kotak Mahindra Bank flat with a bit of a negative bias. So that's just the you know little bit of dampener this morning. And that's making sure that the Nifty doesn't get above the 21,300 mark. So flat opening, you'd have to say, with a bit of a positive bias, led lower by the bank Nifty, which is dragging its feet. Infosys is also your top loser at the moment, down about six tenths of a percent. But other than that, the mid cap index is having a good showing. Well, that's right. You know, so I think at around 21,300, uh, if getting into a long weekend, you want to enjoy Christmas, maybe taking some money off the table at around that 21,300 may not have been such a bad idea. As we speak, the markets have come off that level. We're holding, only holding with a gain of around 10 points. Let's run it through the stocks that are moving around. The all-cargo stocks, logistics as well as Gati, owing to that uh, scheme that has been announced overnight. Both of them are between 7 to around 9%. Remember, they went into this event at the high point of the day, but clearly the street likes it because there is follow-through buying that we're seeing out there. Amy Organics, yesterday we had a large trade that took place. Then they announced uh, you know, some progress with regard to that electrolyzer as well later in the session. So that stock, in fact, from yesterday's block trade is up closer around 15%. Nimesh was the first one to alert us uh, with regard to that block deal. So that's out of the way. The stock is flying away. The other couple of big movers today, you have Real Telly, they won that small order in there, but the street likes it. The stock up closer around 2.5%. LIC, they'll get more time to meet those minimum, uh, you know, shareholding norms. So that's why that stock is well up closer around 7% as we speak. I think that's at a multi-month uh, high. So that stock doing pretty well uh, as well. On the flip side, I think just a few stocks to highlight that are on the downside. You have Nippon Life India. Well, that's a little bit under the weather. And Polycap pulling back a little bit. Siemens posts that analyst meet in brokerage notes. Street likes it up close to 3%. And GMR Airports continues its northward move. To an up percent higher out there. Uh, LIC guys, right? Yeah, LIC yeah, flying. Is, uh, seven percent higher, so that's a big one. Uh, and it's by the way the top volume traded gainer across the board. Uh, so it's very very large move. Uh, what else apart from what we've kind of uh, highlighted? I think all cargo is another one. Mangalam, of course, discussed this earlier in some detail. Eight percent on that one. Uh, there's a Siemens analyst meet. Ami Organics. Nimesh has been highlighting for the last. Uh, I mean, actually since yesterday. Uh, there is Railtel, which is up 3.5%. Pull up Scient. Uh, Scient is up uh, 4%. By the way, the management joins us in a bit from now. Uh, so 20, almost 2,400 on Scient. Adani Total Gas is up about 3%. Uh, stocks at about 1,000 and 1,013 for now. Uh, there is Pirimal Pharma, which is up about 2 and 3 quarters of a percent. You know, the wealth management company, the IFL Group, 361. So that's 3% uh, higher. Uh, coming through. Rate gain saw a very sharp move in the last hour yesterday, ended 7% higher, and rate gain is up another 4%. I think we had the management with us, uh, it was yesterday or the day before, mm -hmm. uh, but that is flying as well. There is VGuard, which is up about 4%. Inox Wind is up about 3.5%. Keynes Technology is up about 3, 3.5%. You know, all of these diagnostic companies were had started on the front foot yesterday. Thyro, I can spot Thyrocare, which is up, uh, up about 4% as well. Market breadth is overwhelmingly in favor of gainers. Uh, so there's nothing at all which is down, except Varun Beverages, which is pulling back a little bit after, you know, what we've seen. Varun Beverages is down 4%, 1,243 is uh, where we are uh, coming in at.